and I'm thrilled to be able to introduce to you someone who's just as ardent a campaigner for cycling, her partner and co-chair on the GLA Transport Committee, Liberal uh, Democrat Assembly Member Caroline Pigeon. Thank you, thank you Ashok and thank you LCC for organising such a fantastic event today and I think it just shows that thousands of people uh, feel so um, strongly about this issue that the voices of cyclists can no longer be silenced, they will be heard in literally every town hall across London, whether it's Havering to Hounslow, uh, Richmond to Redbridge, there are issues that need to be addressed on the ground at local level to make cycling attractive to everyone in the community. Now of course the Mayor and Transport for London have a role to play on some of the main roads and as an Assembly member I'm really proud of the work cross-party that we have done to get cycling up the agenda and to make sure that the Mayor is listening. But we have a lot more to do, particularly at borough level across London. We've challenged the Mayor and continue to do so. We challenge his cycling commissioner as well. And we need real action on some of these really dangerous junctions across London. And the improvements aren't happening quickly enough in my view. But the, our work won't stop. It's not just the Mayor, it's the boroughs who need to be working on this. And Transport for London need to spend the money they allocate for cycling. It's outrageous that we see underspend after underspend, when if they can't spend it, I know boroughs have got schemes they'd like to spend the money on. And I think that's a real issue that needs to be tackled. But 95% of the roads are controlled by the boroughs and that's why the focus for these local elections is around that. The Go Dutch cycle ride two years ago I was really proud to take part in as I have been today but much better weather for us today. But we can't be complacent. Lots of candidates have signed up or signed up to the principles of space for cycling, but we need to do lots more. And but the key thing for me today is whoever ends up as your councillor, this isn't just once every four years. You need to continue the dialogue with them. And I know certainly Liberal Democrat councillors have been holding summits with cyclists across London, really trying to look at what they should be doing locally. And this must continue. You know, the vision for cycling needs to be what we see on the continent. It needs to be absolutely the norm, absolutely part of everyday life in London. And I'm absolutely committed as a Liberal Democrat, as a London Assembly member, to work with you and to work with all parties to deliver a vision where London is a truly cycling city. So well done for today and keep up the great work. Thank you.